Yo, yo, day 13 of the crash diet experiment. Let's go uh, weigh in, see what it looks like. Alrighty, so as you guys saw, that was easily my lowest weigh-in yet, 154.6 pounds. Um, I think there's probably a couple different things that could be at play. I didn't lose, you know, almost two pounds of fat from yesterday to today. Uh, a couple things that I've been doing a little bit more consistently, uh, staying really consistent with my hydration. Um, I got roughly like 13 to 14,000 steps yesterday. Um, I've been at the 1500 calorie range consistently for a few days without any slip ups or anything like that. Um, and I also got a really great night of sleep last night as well. So I woke up feeling a little dehydrated, but I don't know exactly what that's from, but it could just be that I kind of forgot to drink water. Um, that also could be at play and that could be why my weight was so low this morning. Um, either way, that was, a, that was the lowest one that I've had yet. I just woke up, I'm not super starving, but I. I just woke up and I feel I can feel a little grumbling in my stomach as though I'm gonna get hungry here pretty soon. So, um, go up to my fridge, see what I have. Um, today I'm probably gonna try to give fasting another shot. Um, I have a Christmas vacation family party tonight. It's one of my favorite things throughout the year. I absolutely love it. Um, I want to be able to go there and to have a drink or two and to have some snack food and relax and just enjoy my family's company, goof off and have fun without having to worry too much about calories. So to be able to do that, I'm probably going to just fast today until I go there at 6 p.m. Um, I'm willing to give that another shot. I think the last time I did it, it was kind of on the fly and that's why it didn't work as well. Today, I think if I know that I'm doing it, um, having kind of the, the preconceived notion that I'm gonna be fasting will allow me to kind of stick with it and it'll make it a lot easier. So that's probably what I'm gonna to do today. There might not be a lot on here for uh, day 13 because I'm probably gonna be fasting and just doing, doing some work. So um, I will check in with you guys a little bit later when I'm at the party. I may have a drink in my hand, so don't judge me. Uh, there may be some yummy snacks and things like that as well, so I'll take some pictures of that if I end up munching while I'm there. But uh, yeah, so that's all I have on board for you guys, and I will put up another video if I eat anything or uh, if I have any big, you know, aha moments throughout the day. But if not, then I will see you at the Christmas party. Hey there, so it is about to be uh, dinner time, and I have not really eaten today. I've just had a cup of coffee. Um, so the fasting all day went perfectly fine. However, I decided to kind of call an audible at the end. Um, I know that at my at my cousin's Christmas. Uh, I know that at my cousin's uh, Christmas vacation party, essentially, it's just gonna be a lot of really high calorie snack foods and booze. And I definitely am gonna have some drinks. However, I would prefer to go there a little bit fuller and not feel like I'm craving a bunch of the snack foods because I know that those are gonna fill up the calories super quick for me. So I called a little bit of an audible in making my high volume oats, but I changed the recipe. I subbed out um, half of the oatmeal that I'd normally have and I put in double the broccoli to give it a lot more volume. Um, and then with regards to the actual protein topping that I put on top of it, I also made some modifications to that. So I used half a cup and then a uh, half of the protein powder that I normally use. And so everything all together comes out to about 280, 300 calories off the throat in my fitness pal. But when I did it on my head, that's what it came out to. So I'm heading over there with a good amount of food in my stomach, but um, really relatively low calories for the night. Um, I could have a few drinks and still end up under 1500. So I know that you guys are just absolutely dying to see my, my high volume oats and they're green tonight. You'll notice um, some greenness there because uh, the majority of it is actually broccoli and not oatmeal this time around. So um, I will check in with you guys once I hit the actual party and am having a few drinks and stuff like that should be fun. I'm gonna be wearing a very ridiculous Christmas, uh, ugly, ugly Christmas sweater, so that should be fine. Hey, hey, just got back from my cousin's Christmas vacation party. I am in full-fledged Christmas mode wearing a sweater, so you can check it out. Yeah, ugly Christmas sweater. So I didn't track anything while I was there. I probably had roughly like 300 calories before I left with high volume oats. While I was there, I had two plates. Uh, one plate had, well each plate had uh, a rapus and then ham on it and there was some kind of like mustard or sauce on top of that. Uh, each one of those plates also had like two slices of apples, two slices of cheese, 
and then each one had probably like three wings on it. So there's about that. I don't know the exact calorie content on that. Uh, there was small pieces of quiche. So I had, and they weren't like big, big, thick pieces. They were really small ones. Um, I had two pieces of those and then probably two hard boiled eggs and that's about it. Um, I was there, I did have a few drinks. I had a beer and then two smaller eggnogs. So I'm guessing I probably just skirted up right at, right up against the calories, maybe a tiny bit over, I'm not 100% sure. Um, I wasn't gonna go there and track and like pull out a scale and be on my fitness pal the whole time. I just really wanted to enjoy my family's company and have a good time with them. So that is it. Again, one more great, great look at my Christmas sweater. Super ugly. So one other quick thing to mention is that typically when I do drink alcohol, I tend to retain a few pounds of water. So I'm fully anticipating waking up tomorrow and being a few pounds heavier than I was this morning. Uh, it's a usual trend whenever I step on a scale after going out. Even having as little as three drinks like I did tonight, typically I will just retain some water the next day and it's pretty common. So I'm totally anticipating on seeing the scale be a little bit higher yesterday than it was today and totally, you know, I'm, I'm just fine with that. So.